So now I'm going to have a go at the next exercise in the leader lesson on Codeality. It's called Equileader. So let's get straight into this. Okay, a non-empty array A consisting of n integers is given. The leader of this array is a value that occurs in more than half of the elements of A. An equileader is an index S such that 0 is less than or equal to S, which is less than n minus 1. And the two sequences A0, A1 up to AS and AS plus 1 up to AN minus 1 have leaders of the same value. For example, given the array, this one here with 434442, four, four, we can find two equileaders. 0 because the sequence is 4 and 34442 four, four, have the same leader whose value is 4 and 2 because 434 four, and 442 four, have the same leader whose value is 4. Okay, the goal is to count the number of equileaders. Write a function that given a non-empty array A consisting of n integers returns the number of equileaders. For example, in that example the function should return 2. Write an efficient algorithm for n being an integer within the range of 1 to 100,000. So that's the number of um, number of values in the array. And each element in the array A is an integer within the range of minus a billion to one billion okay so this is very similar to the last exercise the dominator exercise uh, where we had to find the value which occurs most often in the array um, but then we've got to loop through the array and find how many indice indices give us equileaders on either side of the array so i'm just going to start off and i'm going to cut and paste my code to the dominator exercise so what this is doing is it's making a map of called counters and that map consists of the value that we come across in the array and then the number of times that we come across that value uh, what I'm going to do in this is I'm going to remember the instead of well, once we've worked out what the dominator is I'm going to remember what it is so here I'm going to save private int dominator and I'm also going to remember the number of si times that we see it so private int dominator count so at the end here, what we say is, um, this is finding the dominator here. So we say if one of the counters is greater than the length of the array divided by two, then we're returning in the dominator exercise, we were returning the index. But what I want to do now is save the dominator. So dominator, equals a dominated count equals counters get a okay so that's the modification to the last exercise that I'm going to use for this exercise now we know what the uh, dominator value is. Uh, it did say in the description that the leader is the value that occurs more than half the number of times as the length of the array. So we know that we're looking at the dominator. We know dominator count now. So now I just need to loop through the array. Every time we see the value, we're losing one from the right side and gaining one on the left side. 
So I'm going to make a method. Um, well, hang on. I'm going to I'm going to loop through the array. And I'm going to say values in right side, or rather leaders in right side, leaders in right side is going to start off as dominate account. So I'm on at the left hand side of the array and all of the all of our dominator values are in the right hand side of our array. And I'm going to make a count right side and that's going to start off as a length. I'm going to start off at count left side is going to start off at zero and leaders in left side starts off at zero so as I loop to the array if the value is the dominator then that value is going to move over to the left so leaders in right side you can subtract from one from and leaders in left side we can add one to then regardless of whether this value is a dominator or not we're going to add one to count left side and subtract one from count right side and then at this point if uh, leaders in right side or if if leaders I'll do the left first if leaders in left side is greater than count left side over two then we have more than half of our values on the left side is a leader value. If the same applies to the right hand side, so more than half of the leaders in the right hand side, or more than half of the values in the in right hand side are leader values, then we have a equi leader. So at the top of here, I'm just going to say int equi leaders equals zero. We get the equi leaders. Plus plus, and at the end, we're asked to return the number of equi leaders. Equileaders. Okay, so now let's have a look at the example again. Four, three, four, 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 two. I'll just add, we are returning the count, yeah. So four, three, four, 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 two. So let's try that. We're expecting the result to be two. So let's test that. Two, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to debug through this because I'm not 100% confident that it's right. I'm fairly confident and we're going to loop through the array twice. Uh, I can't loop through the array once because I need to establish what the 
uh, dominator value is there may be a clever way of doing it but I can't think of it now so I think it'll be sufficient to loop through the array twice so let's debug this and see check that it's working so I know that dominator's solution worked so I'm just going to go down to the bottom there and we have the dominator is four and the dominator count is four we have four fours in there uh, so four lots of four okay so equileaders we start off with none of them we start off with four leaders on the right hand side which is right we start off with all our values one two three four five six on the right hand side on the left side we have zero and we have zero leaders then the first value is a four so we take a leader from the right hand side and that's three we add it to the left hand side so that's one we add value one to the left side and six becomes five then this so one is greater than one over two one is greater than a half and three is greater than five over two so we have an equileader and we carry on okay i'm reasonably confident that this is going to work mm -hmm. so i'm going to submit this and see how it does just need to import the hash map and map run the tests compilation successful and it was it worked properly on that test but let's submit this and see maybe I need to just wait a second and think about corner cases what happens if we give it an empty array if we give it an empty array we'll want the uh, value return to be zero I think it will probably work yeah that works um, negative values that's not going to matter um, no I think I'm happy with that I think I'll submit that And 100% so that was successful so uh, let's have a look at what the uh, performance test was large random uh, large random length is approximately 100,000 large range extreme large um, simple test small random okay so that's uh, that's my solution to the equileader task in codility thanks for watching